<laughs> Anyways, speak of fan fix. I, that was what I was supposed to be doing tonight, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got oh no other boy. announcements, so let's just go ahead. Oh boy, I think, well, I figure what we could do is maybe, well, do this one little fanfic I found, and then maybe see if we can squeeze in another two of there, there. Yeah. I'm not Anyways. sure. Maybe we should save there and there for later, so that way I won't be hung out of the suspense in the, during That's the time. That's what I meant. Like, do it after yeah. this one, or I don't know. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you're probably all wondering what I've got in store for you all tonight. There we yes. go. Nice little <sighs> Because you obviously can't get enough of my torment, the fanfiction I found is a Trixie-centric fanfiction. I'm interested. I figured. <laughs> By Alex Magnets. Say, hey, doesn't that name sound familiar? Alex Oops. Magnets. Is it Alex brother Mag Steve Magnets? It, no. I don't know. I, I don't know. Something about that name sounds familiar. I feel like I've read something from him before. Oh, yeah! It's the same author who wrote Literary Love Literally. Oh, my God. Oh, Short, wow. and it's probably going to be fucked up. <laughs> oh, yes. By Alex Magnet, the story is called Rocks, Boomboxes, and Kidney Stones. Can't. Come again? Rocks, Boomboxes, and Kidney Stones. Yes. And once again, this is from the same person who wrote Literary Love Literally. I think we're going to have a terrible night for this. Oh, I'll, I'll put the link for the fanfiction in the chat there. There you go. Danka? Danka. What, are you turning into the medic? Danka Shen, da-da. Danka Shen, Danka Shen. And yes, the story is Rocks, Boom Boxes, and Kidney Stones. Is my mic coming in clear? You're good. Okay, yeah. I think I'd be sure. Okie dokie. Are we all ready for this? Well, I'm uh, ready. Man. Gonzo? You go on ahead while I eat dinner. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna get some water, because I'm probably gonna eat it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some meat too. Be right back. Alright. By the way, I'm told um, there will be no mini arcade show um, this week, or an illogical podcast, because uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm not sure if they're going to happen, but probably if there was going to be a mini arcade show, it'll probably be a bunch of recordings. There will be a mini arcade show on all, on possibly. Um, I think we can deal with no, maybe one on August 10th, but I'm not sure. Uh, mean Spirit's a little. Mean Spirit is still recovering from last night's drunken stream. I'm back. Did I miss anything important? Uh, just a few announcements I'm trying to get out there before I forget. Now we need okay. to locate that one oh, video yeet. because... Alright, so diving back into the world of Alex Magnet. <laughs> right, it'll probably be a fucked up. Are we all ready? I'm Shadow, you got this? I'm ready. Okay, let us dive into Rocks, Boomboxes, and Kidney Stones by Alex Magnet. <clears throat> Trixie ran through a mental checklist as she surveyed her surroundings. Just across the deadly laser grid, she could see her destination, Golden Oaks Library. Laser grid? Laser grid? Yeah. I'm sorry? I, I don't know. Daisy's held in one hoof, she patted her chest, feeling the necklace beneath her other hoof. She had everything she needed. She took a deep breath. <sighs> okay. Operation Wind Over Twilight Sparkle is a go. What? Wait. Come again. Wind, wind Over Twilight Sparkle. Oh, God. Another Trixie fanfic. Come on. Shadow, I'm starting to... <sighs> How do you get these requests? I don't... I, I just found this one on a whim. I didn't even know it was by Alex Magnet until I just checked. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and I didn't even know it was another Twixie fanfic. I just saw that it was Tri Trixie was in there, and so was Twilight and uh, Spike, and that's I all I know. I wonder if this okay. is the video I'm looking for. Might as well, yeah, let's just keep going. Gonzo, what was that? Sorry, I'm, I was looking for a video because i um, talk, talking with the mod of Murder Shy for a bit. Alrighty, right, right. right. Uh, <clears throat> or not. Let's keep going. Placing the bundle of daisies in her mouth, Trixie galloped towards the laser field. The beams were invisible, but she had the whole thing mapped out in her head. 
she had had a lot of practice. Uh, Blazers in Equestria. Hmm. Go figure. Yeah. Two steps. Jump. Three to the left. Forward and under. Double somersault under a pair of laser lines and tuck and roll under one more. Followed by a bolting leap across a pool of acid and ending in a cartwheel past the lion mines. Ah. Uh, up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right. B.A. Start! <laughs> Damn! She knows her Konami. Yes, I'm the gamer girl. And that's just what we like. Yay! We still make good team, after all. You know, it's good strange, team. isn't it? <laughs> Yes. We're just a odd little couple, we are. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyways, with a final pike flip onto the doormat just for player, Trixie let out her held breath. She was getting pretty good at this. At dodging invisible threats that apparently exist for some reason. I well, guess. Can, can oh, she just do a teleportation spell, like Twilight? Just, you know, one <laughs> like that? Maybe too mm -hmm. loud. She wants probably nice. utter silence. It's probably She's yeah. probably going to yeah. woo <laughs> over in Stealth of the Night. Yeah, anyways. Making sure her cape and hat were straight, Trixie cleared her throat and breathed into her hoof. Everything was in order. There was no way Twilight would refuse her this time. Wait, what? Wait, so she's tried this numerous times before? Eh, you win some, you lose some, and evidently you have no idea. Mm. <sighs> Trixie stretched her hoof towards the door, slowly, timidly, after a short... <clears throat> Excuse me. After a slight pause, she cocked her hoof back, then wrapped it against the door. Trixie... Excuse me. Trixie cracked her... Again. Trixie cracked her neck and shook her limbs out. As she quickly ran through her speech in her head, she couldn't help but smirk. This plan was perfect. There was no way she could be rejected again. Trixie's breath was stolen away as the door swung open, revealing Twilight Sparkle, wreathed in light and accompanied by a little green and purple dragon. This was Trixie's chance. Twilight, Trixie would... The door slammed shut with all the force of a backhanded pimp slap reverberating its... <laughs> Damn! That has... Reverberating its sonorous, warm... sonorous warbles in Trixie's downturned ears. Rejected again. Rejected! Damn! That must have been a bad bitch slap just like the ones the pimp named Slickback would send. Ow! You know, you know, at times like this I only have one thing to say to you. Bitch slap! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, the daisy she held in her hoof wilted almost immediately, dying from rejection by proxy. Oh, with a defeated sigh, Trixie tossed them aside. Hey, watch it! shouted a passing stallion as he rubbed his head. Well then. <laughs> She kicked at the dirt, ignoring the mysterious voice and sending up little puffs of dust as she contemplated just what went wrong this time. I can think about three good things of what went wrong. <laughs> Getting to the library had been no problem. The preliminary defenses were easy as ever, but she was thwarted, once again, by the very mayor she was trying to reach. She had even brought daisies, just like she liked, but for some crazy reason, Twilight refused to let her in or even let her speak. Clearly, this meant a change of tactics was in order. Oh, um, how about giving up? Because I don't think Twilight swings that way yet. Yeah, I don't think Twilight um, is not the kind of person to forgive and forget. Pony. Oh, <laughs> let's uh, find out. The yeah. next day, Trixie stood just outside the perimeter of the Golden Oaks Library, home of Twilight Sparkle. Uh, did we not establish that already? Mm. She stuck a hoof in her mouth and held it up to the wind, testing its velocity and direction. North by northwest, and about one, no, one and a half miles an hour. She couldn't have asked for better conditions. Uh. Um. She made sure her rump was secure in the leather seat, unless it turns on either side, before bending over to pick up the daisies, gingerly biting down on them to keep them secure. What is she, is she doing what I think she's doing? Uh. If her calculations were correct, her acceleration would rip them from her mouth if she didn't bite down hard enough. Fortunately, she had jaws of steel. In fact, she could rip a stallion's jugular from his neck if she were so inclined. Holy crap! You know, for kids! Damn. The great and powerful Trixie was a mayor of many talents, some of them not quite as benign as others. But none of that mattered right now. Right now, she only had one goal in mind, getting into that library. Okay. This the thick branches this. creaked as she settled in a little further into her seat. She tested the tension on the elastic by tapping it with her hoof, eliciting a single twangy note. 
The thought crossed her mind to serenade Twilight with those these dulcet twangs, but she quickly dismissed it because that would be ridiculous. Well, at least it would make a whole lot of sense in catapulting your way into the library. Yeah. Twilight would never be wooed by some silly elastic. No, she had made up her mind. This was possibly the only way inside that library, and it had the added benefit of skipping over all the defenses, so that was a bonus. But what? Prepare yourself, Twilight Sparkle. Trixie is coming! In more ways than one. <laughs> oh! I'm eating here! <laughs> Loosing a warrior's cry, she reached down to pull the stick that was holding her in place away and let herself go. But stop when she saw a green and purple something tapping his foot and staring at her with a raised eyebrow. Her war cry quickly faded away like a giant balloon animal being deflated. She said, <laughs> Yes? What is it? Can't you see Trixie is in the middle of something very important here and that she does not wish to be disturbed? Spike pointed at the giant slingshot Trixie was currently so god. What? Shit. I don't really, think- Really, Trixie? You're going wildly coyote on us now? I think everybody pretty much saw it coming. Yep. My Little Pony with Looney Tunes. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> Important? You mean like catapulting yourself at the library? You say that like you say that like it makes no sense because it doesn't. And you're saying it does? Well, obviously. Spike shook his head. Just what the heck are you doing, Trixie? You come around here every day, always knocking on the door or trying some crazy stunt to get inside. Last week it was still st <laughs> so still exists at Equestria. Well, in the Crystal Empire episode season episode two. Pinky was on stilts when they were seeing, um... Oh, yeah, when they were trying to find the crystal heart. Yeah, and, that, that, and she was... Yeah. And they were they reprieve the song. Yeah. The week before, it was teleportation, which actually would have worked if you had known how to do it, and now it's a slingshot? I don't get you. What do you want so bad? Not what? Trixie corrected with a swag of her hoof. Who? I'm not doing this for some object. I'm doing this for her. Besides, how do you even know me? Know you? Trixie, I live there. That's my house. Spike pointed at the window directly above the door. You see that? That's my room. Trixie's ears perked up and a sly grin slit her face. I see. So you can let me inside then? Well, not exactly. Trixie reached for the stick lodged between her and the ground and started to tug at it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Spike this is gonna hurt. Move and pulled it away. Oh, thank God. False alarm. <sighs> Now, hang on just a second. Uh, wait, just wait a second. Trixie eyed him cautiously. Just stop for one second. I can't just let you in, but I may be able to help you convince Twilight to let you in. Trixie is listening. Just get out of that slingshot and we can talk. I, I don't want you to accidentally catapult off in the middle of our conversation. <laughs> hmm. Spike reached forward to pull Trixie out. She accepted, grabbing his claw and letting him pull her up while simultaneously placing a heavy rock in the seat she had previously occupied. To keep it from launching, she explained. Spike didn't even bother questioning her logic behind that, and instead started into a speech. <sighs> okay, so look, Trixie. You can't just catapult your way into a mayor's house. That's not how it works. You gotta find out what they like, and talk to them, and be nice and stuff. You can't just barge in and demand to be heard. It's worked for Trixie in the past. And that's another thing said Spike, pointing at her. This whole talking in third person thing has to stop. It's just obnoxious and no one wants to be around someone that acts so high and mighty all the time. Hmm. Mm. Tone it down, Trixie. It's not about you. It's about her. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just act like you're superior to everyone else. That's not how you get ponies to like you. But Trixie is superior. Would you have, not, would you have me not act like myself? Trixie asked caudily. You just spoke in first person right there. Trixie doesn't see her point. Ugh. Well. Spike she slapped spikes. his forehead with a resounding clap. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's just stick to the easy stuff, okay? That being? That being the stuff Twilight likes. Trixie presented the daisies to Spike. I already have that covered. Daisies are her favorite, are they not? What? No! Lavender is her favorite. She's allergic to daisies. Ooh. Hmm. That would explain why they were in her medical records, then. What? Hey! You go! What? 
You little sneak! <laughs> you stole Twilight's medical records? Spike said, holding his hands and out and shaking them. Trixie waved at who flippantly. This guy's a stalker. It's time for restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bummy the Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I well, love then. that shit. Continuing on. <laughs> oh, right. oh, stole is such an ugly word. I prefer pilfer. Besides, it's not like she was using them. <coughs> Her doctor's word. Details, details. <sighs> okay, nope. so moving past the possible felonies, what else do you know about Twilight? Trixie's hoof absentmindedly batted at the bit of mane dangling in front of her. Well, I know she likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Also, she's on to yoga. Really? What? You had to put that song in there. Wait, 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 wait. What song? That if you like pina coladas and getting, getting caught, caught in the, the rain. rain. Also, what? she's yeah. not to yoga. What song is that? Um, try looking up pina coladas. I, yeah, yeah. just... We may end up having to listen to that shit, so... Uh, okay. I'll look it up some other time on this stream. Anyways, yeah. where was I? <clears throat> Spike bit his lip. Spike bit his lip, opening and closing his mouth repeatedly. I think you may be confusing her with someone else, he finally managed. Trixie frowned. But I got this information from a very reliable source. A uh, radio station? Oh. An oh. oldies no. radio station? Much worse. Oh, what? In addition to her medical records, I also pilfered her journal. What? This guy's a stalker. It's getting real awkward. <laughs> Jesus. Trixie's a stalker. Yeah. Ugh. Spike's eyebrows, eyebrow rose slightly. She, she keeps a journal? Trixie nodded happily. Sure. I have it with me right now. <laughs> Can I see it? Spike! Uh, so look at other ponies' personal journals. And yet but, you're doing it? <laughs> but I suppose I could let you see it. Ooh. Oh, God. Trixie fished around in a bag lying next to the slingshot, extracting a small square object. As she handed it to Spike, his open mouth turned into a frown, a frown that only deepened as he saw what Trixie was handing him. This is a CD. <laughs> What? <laughs> I get it. What just happened? <laughs> the so-called journal that Trixie pilfered from Twilight is actually a CD. It's not a book? Trixie no. Doesn't, Trixie doesn't see what you mean by that. Spike took the CD and flipped it over. It's a CD, not a journal. You were just quoting song lyrics. This isn't even about Twilight, is it? It wasn't her room. Ooh. What? Whoa, 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 wait. You were in her room? Only once, though. And it was while she was asleep. But I was really quiet, so I wouldn't wake her up. Ah! I um. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can imagine Tracy going, No need to take it back, Twilight. I bathed you while you slept. Oh, hey, buddy. I warmed it up for you. <laughs> what? SpongeBob for the win. <laughs> Keep going. Ooh. Spike found himself staring. Sorry, I just taking a sip of water. <laughs> Spike found himself staring intently at the suavely dressed stallion on the cover of the CD, wondering what he had gotten himself into. <sighs> okay, so glossing over even more criminal activity, I just have to tell you that Twilight does not. In fact, like pino coladas or getting caught in the rain. Oh, she does hate yoga, he added quietly. <laughs> Trixie isn't sure how to take this news. Trixie that said, was... her lips curling into a frown. That was everything I had. A CD. Really? A mixed... Really? Really? A mixed CD. I don't think that's all you need. I don't think that's... <laughs> you know what? I don't... One item does not mean everything. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need to crack into a computer, find an actual journal, a physical copy, and not a CD. <sighs> Maybe even, I don't, I don't know, I'd probably go completely stalkerish and go with surveillance 24-7. Yeah. 
Spike patted her on the back comfortingly. It's okay. I, I still know what we can do, and against my better judgment, I'm going to help you. Really? Spike, no, no, Spike, no, don't. That Rixie's would be your undoing. slowly started what? That would be his undoing. <clears throat> really? Spike nodded. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore then. Her horn exploded with the energy is as she ripped a small necklace off and tossed it aside. Spike furrowed his brow. I'm almost afraid to ask. What was that? A stone. Trixie said nonchalantly. A stone? And Trixie nodded. A kidney stone. What? What? Come, wait, wait, wait. Can you repeat that? What? A kidney stone. Before that? Where is it? Let me, let me find this damn thing. Her horn exploded with energy as she ripped a small necklace off and tossed it aside. Did she? Oh, God. Oh! Oh! You do not keep kidney stones! Yeah. Ugh. Ig major Ignoring Spike's look of disgusting utter disgust, stock. Pixie continued. Her medical records were very insightful. Oh. This guy's a stalker. <laughs> I gotta do a cover of that sometime. We should. Gross. He stuck his tongue out, dry, heaving slightly. Shaking off the thought of that thing, Spike said, Anyway, we better hurry up and get started. If we go now, we can be there and back before it's dark. There? Trixie asked, cocking her head to the side. Spike grinned slightly. <laughs> You'll see. Spike, don't do it! Uh, Here. let's see. Oh, Jesus. He's gonna freaking regret it. Three hours, six stores, 20 bits, and one milkshake later. Jesus. <sighs> I Trixie think and it's... Spike, what? I <laughs> think that was... Nah, yeah, something. I was about to say a joke, but then it just escaped. Yeah. So. Trixie and Spike stood on edge of the Golden Oaks property line. Ah... <clears throat> <sighs> Wait. Spike gave a contented sigh as he finished all the last of the milkshake and tossed it toward his nearby bin, eliciting a wet smack. That's again? What's happening? Um. That's okay, me. are you ready, Trixie? That's, that's me. That's Spike, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Okay, are you ready, Trixie? Spike asked, ignoring that oddly familiar voice. Decked out in a full leather jacket, amber sunglasses, and boom. <laughs> what the hell, Trixie? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and a boombox on one shoulder, Trixie smirked confidently. I was born ready. Her smirk folded for a second as she realized. Oh, what? let's see. Uh, wait, what about the laser grid? <sighs> Are we still going on about that, Trixie? Really, Trixie? Uh, get your, get your reality straight, woman. As a laser grid? Trixie waved her hoof dismissively. Uh, it's nothing. Never mind. Right. Anyway, you pull the cassette tape out of the small plastic bell. Jesus. Uh, uh, wait, where did it come from? Whenever you... Uh, a small plastic bag he was holding. Whenever you're ready, he said. Yeah, her heart was racing. Her heart was racing like a double bass pedal drum as she loaded the cassette into the boombox. She took a deep breath to steady her nerves and then stepped towards the library. She turned back to look at Spike. He gave her a thumbs up. She nodded, stealing herself. One small burst of magic and the play button was depressed. It was now or never. And I'll never... Wait. What song is this? I'll... And I'll never... Never let you go... I will never let you go... Wait. Gonzo, you know? Uh, can, where's the lyrics? Uh, let me take a look at it. And that. I'll never... Never let you go. I will never let you go. Wait. Mm. It's Wait. not really gonna ask me, so. Hang on. I'm gonna take a look at never the fanfic, and then I'll do a Google search. Never gonna let you down. Oh, never gonna do. Yeah, I forgot how the fucking rest of it goes. Hang on. Give me a minute. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see. Uh... Never gonna give you up. Are never seriously? gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. <laughs> Sorry, huh? 
I'm a troll. What can I say? Uh, hang yes. on. Let's let me see what happens. Again, the appropriate song is still "This Guy's a Stalker, a Loveless Misfortune." This guy's a stalker. It's time for restraining order. <laughs> um, it's a song by a band named Steelheart. Never let you go, Angel Eyes. Hang on, I will play it. Angel Eyes, you said? Yeah, by Steelheart, supposedly. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. Never heard of that one. I never heard of it either. Maybe if you maybe if you play it, maybe it'll come. I don't know. Uh, let me find. I do have. Stuff. Well, the Google search managed to come up something. Allow me. I have the song up there on YouTube, so I will uh, go to the lyrics. <laughs> if need be, I need me. I can get it. <laughs> Yeah, this shit right here. Ah. Get to it. I've never heard of this. Maybe I should play it on my stream. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. And now. And now. They okay, guys. Keep silent. Let's see what happens. Right. Alrighty then. The Trixie fell down to one knee. What? Yeah. And started tossing her mane back and forth, head banging like a true rock and roll legend. Really, Trixie? <laughs> Never heard of this still hard, so. Yeah. Okay, there's people asking me to play it. I got it up. Silence. Please. I don't think we need it anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. Says, well, suddenly the door to the library burst open. Trixie's what? heart stopped. She froze in place. Oh, God. Oh, no. What's going on? Standing there in the doorway, a massive smile on her face, Twilight looked absolutely stunning. Her mane reflected the mid-afternoon sun, half-covered now, and her eyes sparkled with an intense light. A single tear worked its way down her cheek, only stopping as Twilight went to brush it away. Oh, my God, it actually worked. How did you know? She what? cried. Trixie yelled back, cupping a hoop over here. I said, how did you know? Trixie leaned towards Twilight. No, no, what? Twilight frowned. What? Wait, what? Hang on. Trixie reached up and pressed the play button up on the boombox again, pausing the music. As she set it carefully on the ground, she said, Okay, that's better. Now, what did you say? Twilight shook her head, smiling despite herself. Oh, God, you, I am Shadow, you are not going to like this next bit. <laughs> Trixie smirked. How did you know? Because I know. Oh god. Oh, I better be prepared. <clears throat> I got turned to laugh. Because I know you, babe. I know what you like, and I know you need me. Just like I need you. <laughs> and she rage quits yet again. I can't do it. <laughs> she shot a quick glance back at Spike and he gave another thumbs up. I came here tonight hoping you would open your house to me. Trixie, I mean I need you. You're the only one for me. I can't do this. I can't. Twilight shook her head softly. I don't understand. All the other times you were so blunt and ham-fisted, but now you're so sweet and sincere. Of course you can come in. No one has ever done anything so nice for you before. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> what a feeling, Rainbow Dash. She grinned, and then, as if she suddenly remembered something, she turned back to Spike and waved him forward. He waddled up, carrying a bouquet of lavender with him. Trixie took it from him with a wave of blue magic and offered it to Twilight. These are for you, too. I know lavender's your favorite. Twilight's blush deepened. That's so sweet of you. I can't believe this. You changed so much from earlier today. What happened? Trixie set the boombox down and turned it off, suddenly looking serious. You did, baby. Really? <laughs> How cheesy can you get? You did, baby. I realized what I needed to do to win you over, so I did. I had a little help from Spike, too. Twilight leaned to the side, looking past Trixie and Spike. Is this true? Did you help Trixie? Spike nodded modestly. A little. <laughs> she looked back at Trixie. This is so amazing. I never believed something like this could happen to a mare like me. What can I say? 
I need you, babe. Oh, God. You, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. She's here at the cheese. Oh, have a while I giggled, covering her mouth. <laughs> she waved Trixie forward. Come on inside. I'll make you something to eat, again, in more ways than one. <laughs> I'd like that, and maybe afterwards, you can tell me how to beat that Ursa Minor. Uh... Ooh. Wait, what? Twilight stopped in her tracks. Wait, what? Trixie's well, reply was... I, well, I was hoping you could tell me how you'd beat it so I could use it as my big finale during the next show. Uh-oh. Let me get this straight. You wooed me just so I would teach you some magic? Trixie Woo? raised an eyebrow. Wooed you? Trixie doesn't know what you're talking about. Twilight Slater hooves out. This! Everything! All of it! Trixie suppressed a laugh. Uh... Wait a second. She said, barely holding back a snort. You actually thought Trixie was in love with you? <laughs> Trixie bursts out laughing, ever unable to contain it any longer. In between laughs, she said, As, a mare li as if a mare like me could ever love a mare like you. Uh-oh. You're gonna die! Purple, purple magic engulfed Trixie, stopping her raucous laughter immediately. You, you, you jerk! Twilight yelled. She lifted Trixie higher, picking up the boombox as well. How dare you play with my emotions like that? She began shaking Trixie violently, tossing the boombox aside as she did. Oh boy, you done, you gon' die, Trixie. <laughs> bye bye. Give my regards to Satan. As Trixie felt her brains being scrambled like eggs at a 24-hour diner, she was dimly aware of the boom box as it flew past her and towards a slingshot that no one had bothered to take. Oh, fuck. What? The slingshot is still up and the boom box just hit it. Oh, a second or two later and there was a crush crashing sound as it smashed against the stick holding the slingshot in place, crushing it and releasing this heavy rock from its seat. Oh, Jesus. It all happened in slow motion. Trixie was still being shaken around as the rock flew across the evening sky as gracefully as a fat butterfly. Wah. Wait, wow. Wow. <laughs> Tom's gonna love to fly. It sailed through the air, slicing a path directly through Spike's window and across the hall into Twilight's bedroom where it exited slightly less gracefully out the other end, flying right into Mr. Poor Sav's face. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Ouch. Mm, that you only meant well, well, of course <laughs> you did, just say, oh, that was all for the best, because it is. <laughs> Trixie felt herself drop to the ground as Twilight released her. Shaking her head to clear the distance, she looked up to see an infuriated Twilight. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. you're going brutal ice bar cake. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, God damn it, you had to bring that up again. Damn no, it. You see it is. The purple mare looked like she was about to explode. Her eyes were bucking out and her mane and tail had burst into flame. Just as she was about to use her magic to tear Trixie a new rear, she stopped herself. Taking a moment to catch her breath, she simply said, You're paying for that. Trixie groaned. And I don't want to hear any butts, either. Tra Trixie raised her hoof. Well, you see, the thing is, Trixie doesn't have any money, per se. Uh-huh. Before she could say another word, Trixie felt something being pinned to her jacket, and when she looked down... Library assistant? Welcome to the Golden Oaks team! Twilight said cheerily, though with more than a hint of malice. Any questions may be directed to Spike, as I don't ever want to hear you speak again. Trixie opened her mouth to say something, but Twilight had already turned away and walked back into the library, slamming the door behind her. Does this mean you'll teach me how to bang with an Ursa Minor? Screw you! <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Yeah! <laughs> hey, rejection of bitch, Trixie. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Is that it? Spike let out a long, slow whistle. Smooth. Neil Smooth. Shoot! 
And that was so close this time, too. Dangerously close, I'd say. Trixie shrugged. Oh, well. At least I made it into the library. Baby steps. Baby steps. The end. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was. Although that... I was certain... I was almost certain this would break you more than Literary Love Literary did. Almost. Yeah, this one... I, that was really funny. Hmm. That was crazy.